Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Returnal on Steam Deck Steam OS and I'm going to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod. This is a performance mod by Luke FC. It's currently paid. You have to like join his Patreon in order to download it. But um, yeah, it does give you performance enhancements, especially for the Steam Deck. You really need it. So this is a harder one to install because I did try it out back like when the mod first came out. But uh, yeah, it didn't really work back then. Maybe it was just me, but now I got it to install. So what I'll do is I'll show you the game without the mod. And then I'll show you the game with the mod. And finally, I'll take you back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode and I'll show you how to install it. So this is um, Returnal on my Steam Deck Steam OS without the mod. Okay, let me add the uh, like overlay better. Okay, this, this overlay is better. Okay, so let's go through the settings. Graphics. Okay, it's set to um, low preset. And I've got screen optimization on FSR, all right? Okay, and yeah, that's basically it. So for my Steam Deck, I'm on the latest stable release. It should be 3.5.7 as of recording. Yep, this one, the stable version of the OS. And I've got Cry Utilities on recommended settings and VRAM size set to four gigabytes. Okay, and on my Steam Deck performance tab, I've just disabled frame limit and that's it and um, power tools i've just got smt enabled eight threads governor set to performance so that's all my settings okay so let's just uh run through this game a bit i haven't really like played this game i didn't play it on the ps5 and i didn't play it on the pc as well i'm not really into like roguelike except for hades hades was a really good game that i enjoyed uh, i might enjoy this one i'm not sure but yeah, I don't think I'll... I'm playing so many games now. I don't. This is not on my list that I want to go through. So you can see we get like 20-ish, 30 frames and it dips into the low 20s. And you can really feel it. You can really feel the dips. Even on like, um, like low settings, you can really feel the dip. So yeah, this game really needs that performance boost. See that? See the dip? Oh, it dipped into the teens. Okay, so uh, I've got my gun. Okay, let's see if I can access my suit. Okay, everything looks good. Yeah, it's like not really good because you can really feel the stutter. But the graphics of this game looks amazing. So let's go and encounter our first enemy. Okay. Here's the first enemies. They should be easy. This is more or less like a tutorial stage. Okay. So yeah, that's what it's like um, without the mod, vanilla. If you you know play it on the Steam Deck on low settings with FSR 2.1 on. So let's check it out with the mod on. I don't have it installed right now, so let me uh, install it first, and then I'll show you uh, what it's like. See you back in a minute. Okay, welcome back to my gaming mode, Steam Deck's gaming mode. I've just installed the mod. You can see I've done uh, the mod files and then I've added the launch options for the mod. Okay. I recorded that. I'll show you that later. How I installed it on my Steam Deck's desktop mode. So let's just run the game. I did test out the game in desktop mode and it felt really smooth. So I'm really excited. So this is the mod window. It's the mod hooking up with the game. Okay. So this is the game 
with the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC on, you should get a much smoother and you know higher frame rate, a smoother gameplay. Okay, just wait for the game to boot up. Okay, so let's go to my settings. And if you go to graphics, it's still on low preset. But you can see here, screen optimizations. I've got DLSS on. It's not really DLSS. It's FSR 3. It's just because I've got the mod on. I can select DLSS. And I've got the frame gen on as well. And I've also put NVIDIA Reflex on plus boost. Not sure if that does anything. Okay, so the same settings. And you can see immediately it feels smoother i can feel it like i'm not sure if it goes uh on the youtube like with the capture card but uh in real life i can feel it's much smoother and you can see the frame at the top left i'm getting like 50 or 60. i'm kind of lost wait <laughs> okay here it is so yeah let's play it on low settings maybe i'll change the settings a little bit later it was like struggling on vanilla with low settings. So I didn't really, oh, oops. So I didn't really go into medium settings or high settings. This forest contains I got a bit of a cold. Okay. So yeah pretty good like before we were getting like 20 ish 30 it does still have some dips it does still have some dips i dipped into the 40 before right there and i really did feel it maybe if you lock the frame rate this game would be better like maybe if you locked it at 30 frames or 40 frames that would be better Then you can remove the stutter. Okay. Okay, let's try higher settings. So let's move the graphic preset to medium. Recompile shaders, is that necessary? All right, let's recompile the shaders for medium. Okay. Okay, so we get 40-ish 50. All right, it's a key. Yeah, I think low or medium is good enough for the Steam Deck because the screen's not really that big. And maybe lock it. I think it's good to lock, lock the frame rate to 30 or 40. I'm not sure. I don't play this game. Like, Maybe performance like 60 frames is key. Then you'd probably just keep it at low settings. Yeah, feels much smoother. And I think I'm killing them faster now. Okay, so yeah. That's uh, the gameplay with the mod on. So I'll take you back to my desktop mode and I'll show you how to install it. So see you back there. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Alright, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh god, they put the sauce in. Woo! Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. 
Welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is locate your games folder. So go here to your Dolphin file manager. Okay, inside here, make sure you like click this, the three lines, and then go here, show hidden files. Make sure this is checked. If you have it on Steam, uh, it should be located into inside here. Dot Steam, Steam, um, Steam apps, and then common. So it should be inside here. You should have a folder called Returnal. I don't have the Steam version, so I'm just going to go here. So Home, Games, Returnal. This is where my game is. Okay, and inside the game, there's a folder called Returnal. Go inside Binaries, Win64. This is where the, like, EXE is. And this is where all the DLL. So this is where I'm going to install my mod files. So make sure you locate your game folder. That's very important. Okay, and then I'm going to use my mod files. So I put my mod files inside my downloads folder. It's inside Luke FC mods, FSR2, FSR3. And the latest version of the mod as of recording is 0.10.2. Okay. And because we know the game is using FSR 2.0, we're using the 210 file. Okay. So just um, open the 210.zip and then extract this. To the root of the game folder, just like the Win64 folder that I just showed you. Okay, I already have it, so let's just overwrite. Okay, and then um, the common.zip. Okay, we need this. So make sure you have the winmm.dll and winmm.ini. Extract this. All right, overwrite because I already have it. And then optional. Make sure you drag this, the nvngx.dll. Okay, make sure you have this. And for the enable signature override.reg, put it somewhere that you can access. I put it inside my downloads folder okay, because it's easy access. I have it already, so I'm just going to override it. Okay. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, you need to have Proton Tricks. So if you don't have Proton Tricks, go to your Discover Software Center. Type Proton and get this, all right? The one with the red wine glass, Proton Tricks. I already have it, so I just need to launch it. And then go into your game. If it's a Steam game, yeah, it's good. If it's a non-Steam game, go here, non-Steam shortcut Returnal, okay? Go inside it, okay? And just wait for it, don't panic. Feels like it's doing nothing, but it's actually running in the background. So yeah, don't don't panic. Okay. Okay, now select the default wine prefix. Okay. And then go here, run reg edit. Okay. Okay, and then once this window's open, go to registry, import registry file. Then since I put that like enable signature override.reg in my downloads. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and then just locate that file. So enable signature override.reg, open. And you should get this message, the keys and values contained in blah, blah, blah were successfully added to the registry. Okay. Now we're done. Now we're done. And yeah, just go and go back to your Steam. Select your game. Click the gear icon, properties, and make sure you add the launch options. So it's wine, DLL overrides, equals quotation mark, win, mm, equals n for native, and then comma, b for built-in. Close the quotation marks, percentage, command, percentage. I'll leave this in the description so you don't have to type it out in case you mess up. Okay, and yeah, we should be good. Let's play it. Let's see if it works. Okay, so we got the mod window. That's good. Means that uh, the mod is hooking up with the game. Okay, let's see if we get the in-game settings. If we get the frame generation, that's what we really want. Okay, so I just restarted the game. So, um, like I deleted the prefix so I can start all over again. 
okay. Oh, it's gonna take some time for the pre uh, creating the shaders. Okay, so I guess we have to wait. I might have to fast forward this part. Okay, that's done. Hold A to continue. A. Okay. Okay, let's go to settings. Go to graphics. And then go to screen optimization. Okay, we got DLSS and we've got DLS frame generation on. So toggle that on. Quality. All right, and we're on low settings. I normally put NVIDIA reflex on plus boost. I'm not sure if that helps anything, but yeah, that's what I do. Let me know if you know what this does. I'm not really sure. Okay, so keep it at low and yeah. So this is uh, the game with the... It feels much smoother already. I don't have the FPS counter on. Let's go back to gaming mode and I'll show you. Oh, I've already showed you. I've, got, I've already cut this part out. All right, so yeah, it's done. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.